I'm back out in the range on a little bit of a cold day in Texas and we're testing that micro MOA adjustable gas block and getting the little port sizes uh, tweaked in. I've got it set up with a three position plate, uh, one for optimal unsuppressed, which is gonna be your usual load that you wanna be shooting um, to get the you know, least amount of recoil you can and cycle the rifle and lock the, the bolt back on the empty mag. In the middle position, you've got the suppressed um, mode when you got your uh, suppressor on. And then all the way over, I've got the uh, adverse mode. Uh, when you're running unsuppressed and you're running some weak powered ammo uh, or your rifle's incredibly dirty, um, it's not running right, you want all the gas you can. And that's um, gonna be a larger porthole size, get more gas back through the rifle. So what I'm trying to do today is I think I have the suppress tweaked in already and they're gonna be tweaking in the uh, optimal unsuppressed and the adverse. The adverse I know for sure, uh, this barrel is a, a 0.076 inch porthole size um, on the barrel itself. So I've got adverse set at uh, 0.07 right now because I knew that they'll, it'll run on that. I might size it up, I'm not sure yet, but what I'm doing uh, mainly today is setting up the optimal unsuppressed mode and try to get the least amount of recoil as possible while still locking the bolt back on an empty mag. So let's uh, start shooting and get tweaked in. Okay, so what we saw there is that the bolt did not lock back on empty mag, which means I get to get the drill out and drill out that uh, gas plate hole a little bit larger and test again. And we'll keep doing that iteration until we find uh, where that uh, bolt will lock back on empty mag reliably, uh, vertically, on each side, even upside down. So, because you never know what orientation your rifle is going to be in, uh, and you want to make sure it reliably locks back every time and it's cycling um, well. So. I'm gonna drill and test again and we'll go from there. So I wanna show you exactly what we're working with here. We've got the uh, number drill set, got the little gas plate right there, got my drill, and there's the gas block right there. So all we're gonna do uh, for this press setting, I'm using the middle hole. So I'm just gonna simply take that drill and uh, using the little tiny drill bits, uh, you can see how small it is, and go and enlarge that hole a little bit and then test again. With the optimal unsuppressed setting, it started with a 0 0.052 uh, inch hole, which is number 55 number drill bit. Had to go up to a 54 and then a 53 uh, drill bit. And so that optimal setting ended up being at 0 0.0595 inches. Um, that's almost 0 0.02 uh, inches smaller than the factory uh, port size. So it's quite a bit of difference in gas there. Um, you know, and it was, it was working um, in all orientations, as you saw. It got to lock back. Um, tried basically all four quadrants of vertical, upside down, left and right, and was getting consistent lock back on uh, MD, on M every empty mag. Um, so I think I got that uh, hole size tweaked in. As I said, I'm gonna leave the adverse setting um, as a larger hole, a .07, which is still a little bit smaller than the factory size, but there's a significant amount um, of addition of uh, recoil there. So I think the rifle is just gonna keep running on that. And kind of the suppressed uh, size tweaked in. It might be on the touch on the small size, but it's working consistently. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that going forward and might have to open that hole size a little bit over time if I see any um, 
uh, problems with the re reliability of that uh, lock and back um, or, or cycling. But so far, it looks like we're in pretty good shape. Uh, the suppressed hole um, is drilled in a number 57 size drill bit, which is 0 0.043 inches. This rifle is set up with the JP silent captured spring, um, trying to eliminate as much noise as possible and suppress setup. Obviously, um, you know, even the suppressor, the uh, 556 is pretty loud. Um, that, that round is moving, um, but it can sound more like a 22 versus a you know a full power uh, 556 is a good thing, and um, it's definitely a lot quieter. So we'll show some of that in a, a little comparison video of with and without the uh, Saker uh, installed in a little bit here. Thanks for watching.